Alright, welcome guys. Uh, this is where we left last time. Uh, we're just in this big blue thing here. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that the tops of these are actually white now because the ball's cut into it. Um, so like that, drag your blue material up onto your ball objects like so and that'll blue the top of them. Um, with this tutorial here we'll get on, we'll make the first of these little rod things which runs down the front for the reference, Im reference image. Yeah, it's just that tube up there. Um, it's not very exciting to do that with a couple of extrudes. Um, I suppose I'll make that little square thing with the brown thing on it as well. Um, let's crack into that then. So, objects, primitive cylinder. Like so. Um, radio that's too big. You probably want between 8 and 10, I'd say. I'll try 10 and see how that fits. Um, I'll spin around and drag that into place and we'll see how that looks. Uh, basically just going to sit on that little lip. That should be uh, there. And that's just going to go up and meet that blue box there. Um, as usual you can size it yourself. I'm just going to extrude it straight up. Um, so make that cylinder editable, I think C, and make a loop selection on the top in polygon mode. Um, uh, just like that. Right click, grab your extrude tool, we'll bring that up to about there. Uh, we'll extrude inner just to make a smaller extrude that up a bit. Um, have a larger bit. And bring it back down a bit. And just extrude it up. Um, that pipe thing there wasn't very big or detailed or anything. Um, it could probably do with being shoved over just a bit. I'm just centering mine at the moment, sort of roughly, so do the same as we'll get it in place while you're here, that way you'd have to think about it again. Um, like a little end cap there, it's just square that shape with a little cylinder on. Um, I don't know what size we're looking at, probably about 55 by 55 and probably about 10 for the X size should be about right. Um, let's grab a cylinder pop on that as well. Um, radius of try 30 height of about 5 and we'll throw that on the x-axis as well. We'll zoom in so we can see what we're doing. That radius is too big. Something about like that. Uh, it doesn't have to be flashy or anything, it's just a little thing to do while we're down in this general area. Uh, so we group those together, hitting Alt to G, and drag it across and place it down, and hopefully that should be about right. Um, you can always scale it if yours needs to be slightly bigger or smaller depending on the size of your square down here. Um, I'd probably do with, do with bigger touch smaller, so I'll scale that a bit. And slap that on there. Give that a quick render. And that looks about what we're after, I think. That little square there with a the tube with a couple of lumpy bits at the top. Looks fine to me. Um, with the next tutorial we'll look at sorting out these arm um, sections and holes here. Um, while we are here, of course, we need to do this on the other arm as well. Um, so I'll finish up this tutorial, we'll just copy and paste these objects we've created, both that null object and the cylinder, um, to get them in the right place, we're just going to move them across the x-axis to a positive value. So let's get rid of the minus sign there. Um, select your modeling tool if it's not already selected, just hit apply. And that should, in theory, jump across, uh, which that one hasn't.
and same with that cylinder. And all we should need to do now is rotate that square around. 90 degrees, um, should be the H rotation, 180 degrees, sorry. My arms are slightly off centre by the look of it. That's alright, I don't quite know what's happened there, but close enough is good enough, I think. Um, so let's get those there. Um, next tutorial, as I said, we'll be looking at these little tubes that go in here and a couple of little buttons. Um, might be an idea to tidy up our arm shapes before we do that. Um, you see we've got all sorts of horrible looking polygons through here. Um, what you should do in preparation for the next tutorial is probably tidy up these polygons a bit. Um, we'll just make a selection like this. as well. Delete that. Um, you see from the extrudes and bull we've cut into this, we've got some funny polygons sitting in the middle. Uh, so let's clean it all up while we're here. Let's just save us in case we need little texturing errors, errors later. like so, and we'll just create a polygon do over there. Um, the closed polygon tool probably won't work very well in this situation because we've got a lot of points and funny shapes we're working with here. Uh, if you jump into points mode you can actually see the points you need to hit going around this area here. So let's clean that up a bit. Um, so you want to do that on both arms and both sides. You don't need to worry about doing the insides of the arms. Um, so if we get that done for the next tutorial, um, we'll come back and we'll put in the last couple of pieces here, and then we'll move down to the bottom of the arm, and that'll be pretty much nearly the whole thing complete. So stick around. We're nearly there.